Yo, 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 big dog in the house. What's happening, y'all? Well, uh, I'm taking, uh, I'm here at the hospital. I'm taking Frank to uh, his therapy up in Cottonwood. It's like about an hour and 20 minutes from Flagstaff. Uh, Frank is doing okay. Uh, he's just going to his therapy. He has to go to therapy for about 20 days, so I'll be taking him to the hospital. And uh, he's there now, he's taking his therapy. It's about a 35 minute therapy. Uh, and then I'll take him back home. Everything is okay, just wanted to let y'all know that Frank is doing good. Thank y'all for the prayers and stuff. And uh, thank God that he's okay. All right guys. Well, after Frank comes out the hospital, we're going to check around here for BLM land. That's some BLM land around here. Uh, places where we could go camp. We got to bring him down from, uh, he has to come down lower altitude. altitude because uh, uh, high altitude affects him and his uh, oxygen levels. So, after we come out of here, we're going to go check to see the campsite around here somewhere to camp we go back up to Flagstaff and I believe tomorrow Sunday uh, we're gonna uh, all of us is gonna transfer down this way to the campsite so we'll be like about maybe 10-15 uh, minutes from the hospital for his therapy so make it easier for him so you don't have to travel so much uh, open heart surgery and traveling in the car for an hour and 20 minutes is, is, is tough on them, you know? So we're going to try to, we have to come down in alt altitude for his oxygen level. Uh, he checked his oxygen uh, levels before we got here and uh, it was at 80 something, 86, 85, which is good, but up there in, uh, Flagstaff, it goes down to about 60-something, 70-something oxygen levels, so that's not too good for him. So, hopefully, we'll find something around here close by, and then we'll go back to Flagstaff and set up for tomorrow, and hopefully bring him in tomorrow or Monday. Because uh, we got to come back here tomorrow. Every day he has to come down here, so we have to try to find a, a better solution. So, uh, hopefully things will be good. I'll keep you updated. Peace. And uh, here's a little update on my diet. Uh, I've lost, uh, I weighed myself yesterday. And 335, I believe I was... 375, 380 when I started my diet. So I'm at 335. So I've lost over 30 something pounds. Not bad. Three months, I think. Going on my fourth. So everything is good with my diet. Yeah. So y'all can see my neck now. And uh, my shirts are getting big. My pants are getting big. Gotta make new holes for my belt. But everything is okay. See you in a few. What's happening, guys? Well, we're leaving Cinder Hills and we headed down lower elevation for Frank. Frank right now is in therapy. And uh, our buddy, uh, Phil is driving Frank's bus, his wife behind him on the uh, little red pickup truck, CBK, and another buddy of ours behind us. So we're going to go lower elevation for Frank because he needs to get oxygen. And uh, that's it. That's our trip right here. It's about an hour and 20 minutes.
so we'll be all right. Gloomy morning. Feels good, it's about 60 something. My type of weather. And uh, I'll have some more updates pretty soon, peace. We're going another buddy of ours behind in a big bus. I think he's going, I don't think he's coming with us, but he's so we're in the same route. He's gonna follow us. So I'll uh, see you in a little bit. Meanwhile, back at camp. Well, this is where we at. We got Frank where he needs to be. And he's only about uh, 15, 20 minutes from the hospital from here to go to his therapy. And he's in lower elevation. So, uh, mission accomplished here. So we got him down here, so we good. So we pulled over here temporarily because the road down that way, that was all mud and stuff. And uh, it was pouring hard. So for now, we're gonna stay here. So it's right next to the highway. Right next to the highway, next to the entrance. So we're here for now until supposed to rain tomorrow so we'll find it and this is gravel road so gravel and mud gravel and dirt road so it tends to dry up pretty fast but we're not risking it now we all set up and uh, plus our driver Phil left with his wife they went back up to uh, Cinder Hills to get their van and come uh, get their RV and stuff and come down but they're not gonna come down today They're not gonna come down today. They're gonna stay up there. Uh, there's no no reason for them to come down. It's just it was ugly. So it's supposed to rain tonight and tomorrow. So hopefully it may not be raining in the morning. We might be able to look for something. Go back there. So that's the road we're supposed to go. But uh. When we got here, man, it was it looked like a river. It's supposed to go straight down that way down there. So we'll be here for now. I don't know what this is called. I know it's close to Cottonwood, but I don't know what national forest is this or if it's BLM land. I really don't know. Um So, uh, so that's the update. We got Frank where he needs to be and uh, lower elevation, 15, 20 minutes from the hospital for his therapy. And uh, me and CBK are gonna be here for a while. We're gonna be with them for a while, so. All right, guys, until the next one, peace out. <laughs>